Whenever the Minnesota Fighting Vikings make a transaction, fans are always like, ah, can they play offensive line? Well, yes, this one can, allegedly. The Vikings have signed tackle Timon Paris to the practice squad, bringing the practice squad up to 16 again. And now Timon Paris is the perfect name for a channel like this with the puns and the nicknames, etc. because you have the obvious Timon and Pumba, but also Paris. <laughs> That's right. Paris. Woo! And see, I don't know why the French get such a bad rap from us Americans. Because they eat bread, they drink wine, they smoke excessively long cigarettes, they stop working at noon, they eat all the cheese, and all they do is just F all day long. Sorry, frick all day long. What's wrong with that? Others just smoke and frick all day. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah, Viking signed the guy. Let's talk about Timon Paris today. Background, 26 years young, 6'6", 6 6, 315. 2018 UDFA, originally by the Washington football team. He was the pride of Stony Brook University, go Sea Wolves, where he was a FCS All-American and three-time All-Colonial Conference selection. He was injured late in his senior year, which didn't allow him to do all the draft season stuff. Otherwise, he probably would have been a day three selection, uh, as he was seen as a pretty decent gamble with upside. Lance Zerline, the legend nfl.com here's his draft profile write-up he was projected as a fifth or sixth round pick by lance overview paris is a good looking physical specimen with thick arms t-h-i-c-c arms and weight distributed properly throughout his frame while he has a tendency to lose his knee bend and overall pad level too often it's hard to ignore his impressive foot quickness in his past sets even with those pretty feet Man, Lance really just going in, man. Uh, his delayed punch and propensity to play too far over his toes could cause a balance issue that could be tough to correct. Paris is a developmental prospect with medical concerns that could cause him to drop some, but he has the potential to move inside and become a solid backup guard with eventual starter ability if healthy. He was undrafted in 2018, pictured here. Oh, by the way, pictured here, one of the best offensive linemen in the National Football League and then some jabroni who went to Iowa. Uh, but he ended up in Washington for two seasons, then bounced around Washington, Cleveland, Atlanta, and was most recently on the Dolphins practice squad. Uh, the Vikings now have 12 offensive linemen in the sphere, nine on the 53 with the elevation of Blake Brandle, as well as three on the practice squad as Paris joins Hinton and Dozier. Also, the Paris signing and Brandle's elevation could say something about Rashad Hill's health. Remember, he exited the Panthers game early with an injury, so we'll get more updates about that on Wednesday as the Vikings had the bye last week. And Paris is a, kind of like the diet version of Ole Udo. Small school, Stony Brook and Elon are actually in the same conference. Great strength, great measurables, big time project. And now will things suddenly click in year four? I, I don't know, I have my doubts. But he's got size, he's got potential, he's got relative youth, and it's a good depth signing. Oh, what else do you want on the practice squad? It's exactly what he is. So Timon, Paris, welcome to the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. Woo. Let's go, man. Uh, but your thoughts and our thoughts. Vikings signed Timon and Paris to the practice squad. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Venmo. Give me the money. But until next time, Skull, production value.